Hello there, this is John V, software evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching another Jscape MFT server tutorial. In this video, you'll learn how to use and enable WebDAV on Jscape MFT server. WebDAV is a protocol primarily used for web content authoring operations. It can also be used for transferring files, and that's what we're going to demonstrate here. First, let me show you how to use it. Let's assume you already have our WebDAV service ready. One way to connect to it is through any web browser that supports Java. We are here on Firefox and have connected to the service through localhost. We enter the domain, our username, a password, and select the Java applet option. Then we click login. After this example, we'll show you how to connect to it through a file transfer client that supports WebDAV. All right, here we are now in our web client running on WebDAV. The left side is our local system and the right side is our remote system. From here we can switch to our HTML based client. And from our HTML based client we can switch back to WebDAV by clicking the Java applet button. So what can we do here? We can delete files and directories, create a new directory, navigate into a directory, upload a file, upload multiple files, or put them in a zip file before uploading. Of course, we can also download files. As we mentioned earlier, we can also use our WebDAV service through any WebDAV capable file transfer client. Jscape any client supports WebDAV, so let's try it there. Here we are on any client. Click the connect button, create a new site, enter the URL of the WebDAV service, Notice that we needed to include WebDAV in our URL, whereas in the web client that wasn't necessary. For the username, you'll need to append the ampersand symbol and the name of the domain. Enter the password and select the WebDAV service. There you go! We've now connected. You can do all things we did earlier. Now that you know how to use WebDAV, let me show you how to enable it on Jscape MFT server. First. Log in to the Jscape MFT Server Manager. WebDAV runs over HTTP or HTTPS, so we need to enable that first. Go to Server, Settings, Web, and enable HTTP on Host. You can also let WebDAV run over HTTPS for better security, but for this demo, let's just use HTTP. Next, we need to go to the domain and enable the WebDAV service itself. That's it! Our WebDAV service is now up and running. For more information about WebDAV, just click the links in the description. Thank you for watching.